Hey, do you ever feel confused about NFTs? You are not alone. Although I've been working with NFTs for since the beginning of the year at least, and even though I've spent hundreds of hours talking and studying about NFTs, sometimes I still feel confused. Sometimes people ask me basic questions like, why do NFTs have value? And sometimes I still have a hard time to explain. Okay, but let's talk about NFTs and first things first, what the heck is an NFT? Okay, by the way, my name is Henry. Welcome to my channel. And if you enjoy this content, please give me a thumbs up and click subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Okay, so let's go now straight to the point. NFTs, aka non-fungible tokens, are tokens that are used to represent the ownership of unique items. I understand it may be hard to understand, so let's go ahead and try to break it down. In economics, a fungible asset is an item that can be easily interchanged. A fungible assets, right? And a good example of fungible asset is paper money. Like with, with paper money, I can swap a $20 note with two $10 notes and I'll have uh, the exact same value, right? However, when it comes to non-fungible assets, interchanging for an, another item will be impossible because they have unique properties such as paint, paintings or uh, crypto punks or crypto kitties. For example, you cannot exchange the Mona Lisa by a Pablo Picasso painting because Mona Lisa was painted by Leonardo da Vinci in a totally different era and it's totally different painting and uh, Picasso is a completely different painter so they are not interchangeable so they are non-fungible in this case right and with artwork it's most of the cases it's non-fungible because each item is unique in the same way digital art works uh, the same way but until now it was very hard to have the fungibility of digital art okay but let's go back to the nfts many things can be tokenized right including art and collectibles the tokens can only have an uh, one official owner at a time and they are secured by the blockchain blockchains like ethereum blockchain or binance smart chain or actually any blockchain that supports the smart contract functionality. These blockchains keep a record of ownership of the NFTs and no one can ever modify the record of ownership or copy a new NFT into existence because these records are immutable in the blockchain. The only thing that can change uh, is the ownership of the NFT in case you give the NFT to someone else or that you sell it. Okay, to sum up, an NFT is a crypto asset that represents something unique and collectible by using blockchain technology. There are a few use cases for NFTs that are currently being explored. I talk about these aspects uh, in my NFT course, and if you want to take a look, you can check the link in the description below. NFT is making waves with these exceptionally huge sales of visual artists and graphic designers. The most popular example that most people have heard of is the NFT called Every Day is the First 500, no, Every Day is the First 5000 Days, created by Beeple, a very famous digital artist. And he auctioned it for roughly 69 million US dollars. How crazy is that? Another popular NFT example is the CryptoPunks, which uh, you have probably heard of. And these CryptoPunks are like pixelized art and they are sold also for millions of dollars. And it's not that they are very beautiful art, it's more that they are unique and scarce. NFT is giving more power to content creators than ever before. And that's pretty cool to see, not only for digital artists, but also for content creators, for musicians, musicians, music industry is also going strong to the NFT space, the gaming industry and many others. So now you understand what NFT is. Let's go through some of the things that you need to know about NFTs. So let's go to the first question. How is an NFT different from a cryptocurrency? Okay, great question. 
NFT is generally built using the same core technology like cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin. It's built with blockchain. Since both cryptocurrencies and physical money are fungible, which means that they are made to be equal in value, one Bitcoin is equal to another Bitcoin, for example. And your dollar is equal to my one dollar, so they can be traded or exchanged for one another with no problem. However, NFTs are different. NFTs use other blockchains that not the same as Bitcoin, is like Ethereum or, or Binance Smart Chain or Tron. And since NFTs are non-fungible, each one is unique, making it impossible to exchange for one another because they are not equal. As I said before, you cannot exchange the Mona Lisa by a Picasso painting. Uh, let's go again back to the example of the NFTs. For example, Jack Dorsey first Twitter post is not equal to your first Twitter post simply because they are non-fungible, right? And that's why Jack Dorsey could sell his first Twitter for quite a lot of money and I couldn't sell my first tweet for a lot of money because they are different and they, Jack Dorsey is a superstar and I'm not at the moment uh, yet. <laughs> Each NFT is unique and they usually leverage the ERC721 token standard in the Ethereum blockchain. Okay, second question. How does an NFT work? So NFTs exist on a blockchain, right? Blockchain, which is essentially a distributed public ledger of transactions that is replicated and distributed across a huge network of nodes, a huge network of computers. The Ethereum blockchain, for example, has around one, uh, 11,000 11, nodes. So the NFTs are minted and uh, held on the blockchain like uh, Ethereum and some other blockchains. And these NFTs are minted from a digital object representing tangible or intangible items, including music, art, paintings, collectibles, videos, and so on. So NFTs are like digital a digital form of collectible items which allows one owner at a time only the exclusive ownership uh, of the rights are recorded on the blockchain so that no one can go and change them and the owner or creator of the nft can also store specific information such as including the artist's signature in the uh, nft's metadata since these collectibles hold value they can be bought and sold like other forms of art now, why can't we just click and save the image of an NFT? Aren't they the same? Unfortunately, they don't hold the same value. You cannot just copy paste an NFT. You can't you can copy paste the image, but you cannot copy paste the ownership of the image, right? The a copy and the original don't hold the same value. Simply because you download a file doesn't mean that you own the file and you can copy the information but you don't own the information a good example is anyone can buy a print of the uh, picasso's painting you can even buy a very high quality print of the picasso painting but there will only ever be one person that owns the original okay another question what are nfts used for so NFTs provide a unique opportunity for artists and content creators to monetize their work by being able to sell them directly to the buyers of an NFT instead of having to rely on art galleries or auction houses or relying on a charity of some uh, Patreons. With these smart contracts, you can even program the NFTs to pay future royalties every time the NFT is sold in the future, to pay future royalties to the content creator, to the artist. And this is extremely attractive as artists generally do not receive any future sales after their work is initially sold. Okay, final question. How to buy NFTs? Okay, most popular NFT marketplaces include OpenSea and Rarible, Foundation, Super Rare, Nifty Gateway, to, just to name a few. Be sure to always research before buying an NFT, since some artists have already fallen victims of 
impersonators that have listed and sold their work without their permission there is a lot of fraud going on and please if you want to buy an nft be super careful with that by the way this is not financial advice at all i don't even think nfts at the moment are a good investment just because they are nfts what you should be buying is because of the underlying artwork and not because of the nft right Okay, by the way, since most of the NFTs are Ethereum-based tokens, most of these marketplaces only accept Ether or ETH tokens as payment. So after you connect your MetaMask wallet to any of these marketplaces of your choice, you are ready to go and shop. Okay, mm, just one more question. I think you uh, want to know, are NFTs a good investment? I have no idea. Like any other kind of investment, you should always do your own research and understand the risks involved by understanding that you might lose all your investments. So be super careful when you are doing this kind of stuff. An NFT value is entirely based on the amounts that someone else is willing to pay for it, right? So the value should be related to the artwork itself and not by the fact that it is an NFT since nft itself is just like a piece of paper that says who owns what but in this case it's digital what has the value actually is the underlying asset therefore okay guys i hope you have enjoyed give a thumbs up and follow my channel